Do you want to learn how to change the light color on Aula F75? In this video, I'm going to help solve your problem. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and let's get to it. First, on your keyboard, you need to press on function and the key that is next to page up, this one. Press both of them together to change to, through different RGB modes, like this. You can also increase or decrease the intensity of the RGB or speed it up or down. And if you want to increase the speed of the RGB, just press on function and the arrow keys left or right. Like this. And if you want to dim the light, the RGB light, you can do so by function and up and down arrow keys. So if I want to make it really low, dim the light low, I can just press on function and arrow key down to do this. And if I want the maximum brightness, I can go for function and arrow key up. And when it reaches the maximum potential of the light, it's going to light up this thing, which is the caps lock light that is next to caps lock. It's going to light that up and it's going to kind of pulsate here. That means that it has, it has reached the maximum amount of light it can produce on the RGB. You can also increase or decrease the intensity of the light, the RGB light, and change the RGB mode with this knob over here. To do this, first press and hold it till your shift and caps lock lights up into the green mode. Like here, the caps lock and shift would light up green. And then if I rotate the knob, it's going to increase or decrease the light of it. And I can switch between different RGB modes by pressing on it. And it's going to switch between different RGB modes. And if you want to switch back to the office mode, which will enable this uh, volume knob to act as volume up and down, just press and hold it till this shift and caps lock lights up blue. And now if I try to rotate the volume knob, it's going to act like normal, volume up and down. And if I click on this, it's going to be a mute. Now, now there's one more light that you can change. It's this that is next to escape button, this light. And this also lights up, pulsates, when you insert the charger to charge the keyboard. So to, so to change it, you need to press on function key and the shift, which is on the left side, not on the right side. So if I press on it, Currently it's pulsating and if I press on this, it's going to change it to static. And if I press it again, it's going to cycle through it. You can see. So these were the ways to change the light on this keyboard. And there's one more way to do it, but you need to install the software of Aula F75. To do this, I have a tutorial on how to download the Aula F75 software which will appear in the playlist at the end of this video. You can check out all the tutorials on Aula F75 there. So once you have downloaded that Aula F75 keyboard software, click on it. And then inside here, you will have this on the left hand side. You can change the light effect inside it. You can do a self-define. So you can select these keys and have different RGB lights on it. So I can make yellow for these, green for the upper row, that way. There's also blossoming, colorful waterfall. There's fixed on. So this is if you want uh, the keyboard to have one color. Like there are many people who have this question because it's checked colorful and they just want one color throughout the keyboard. So to do this, just uncheck the colorful. You can also adjust the brightness here of the keyboard and choose a color from this color spectrum. And it's going to show up on the preview on the top and on my keyboard it's also going to appear if i press on this floppy disk which is the save icon and on the left hand side you can also see this effect this is for audio react so if you select any of these and you play a music on your computer it's going to react to the keyboard rgb is going to react to that music so that's it 
This is how to change the light color on Aula F75. If this video helps solve a problem, let me know with a like and comment.